Scotia. So this is a fancy hotel, you know, for the rich. Still in tune, this is Yara. And uh, look at the triangles here. The other windows don't have it, so it doesn't make any constructional sense. It's pure, the pure sense is uh, symbolic, secret symbols. Yeah. And uh, so, and here on top as well. So this is the first, one of the most seen symbols, like, we are here. You know, it means we are here. The Masonic Triangle, or Pharaonic. And we got the joining, as I showed you. The joining, actually, that's almost a G. Yeah. So the joining is the Acacia tree. And then we got the sun hieroglyphics. Personally, I like the sun hieroglyphics because nobody knows it. And I mean, where are the pharaohs? Where are they? I mean, nice Switzerland, clean Switzerland. I mean, look at it. And what do we see on top here? Some more obelisks here, carved on top. You see? And another one. So I mean, where are they? All people are there. The Germanics are there, the Chinese, the Persians, the Celtic people, the, the, the Romans, the ancestors, you know, the, the Italians, uh, the Arabs, I mean, uh, the Hebrew people, uh, even the Maya, the Aztec, the language is still being spoken in, uh, uh, in the Incas, in, uh, like in Mexico. Where are they? Well, they are within us. They, they are all over the pharaohs. They're not there anymore because the people who are living there now, they're Arabs who came there after the Islamic conquest. But the pharaohs were already gone. They are within us. They're ruling the whole planet. All nations are being ruled by them. And if there are people like Carthagian people, like in Libya, who want to have a revolutionary leader, okay, they give them Gaddafi. And he just talks like people want it. But he's not doing the same thing. He's a bloody dictator. And the same thing is in North Korea or in, uh, you know, the different makes out the, um, the different peoples. Like the French, they don't want to run like 100% with the system. So maybe they run 20%. You know, that's, that's why they get chaos. The Germans, they run 100%. So, you know, they got a lot of welfare, you know, a lot of uh, everything, you know. And the Swiss, they run 400% with the system, so they get everything. Very rich. The Romanians, you know, they don't want to run at all. Because they are the Dacia people, and the Dacia, they smashed two Roman legions. Amazing. They are like Kurdic people, or Chechenians, or Afghans. They even fight the system, so they get war and bloodshed. And the Kurdic people, they they only mix in between each other, you know, like w with each other, only cousins and, you know. So the pharaohs, they, they don't get, it's not easy to get a Kurdish lady or Afghan, because they mix with it with each other. And so, that's why they uh, divided Kurdistan, like over Iraq and uh, Turkey, Iran, Syria, even Russia, you know, to uh, to destroy, to to smash up the people. Like bank, still in tune. You see, it's a bank, and banks usually have the uh, the sun hieroglyphics. So the next war, if you want to live through it. You better paint this next to your door, over your door. Then you're not going to be killed like, you know, like in the Middle Ages. Painted on your door. So here we got Isis. We make a better shot, you know, close up, you know. Well, she doesn't look European, does she? She's standing on the earth. It means the world domination. And here on the other side is like a bloody temple here. With the pillars, you know, and... Freemasonry tri triangle. And here's another temple here. Yeah. And the aim. Oh, okay. There's Isis. I mean, I mean look at it here. 
I mean, a European peasant girl, she wouldn't carry a bucket of milk like this. She would take it under her arm and look at the Cleopatra haircut and the nose and everything. This is pharaonic. You know, this is not European. And look at the dress. I mean, this, this, this is a Nile dress. You know, this is Egypt, ancient Egypt, and the ball there. That means the earth domination. And the aim of these pharaohs is, has always been to play people out, to play peoples out against each other. You know, like in the first, the Second World War, the Germans lost 78 percent of their men. The uh, the Russians, 25 million people. So all the men were dead. So who takes the women, the country, the land, the cattle, and the power? The enemy within, the third party, or the third Reich. You know, one empire is fighting the other empire, and the third empire, you know, the third Reich, the empire within, takes everything. And this is how they do it. They always try to play people out like, like putting up a difference um, in the color of skin, ideology, religion. Uh, this country, uh, Switzerland, is the center, the basis, the Al-Qaeda of the pharaohs. And their banks to finance Adolf Hitler and the rest, the mercenaries with this country and their Templars and their Freemasons, they, they put Europe on their knees. They destroyed Europe. They are the enemy of Europe and they still don't want to be European. You know? This can be definitely seen by their uh, unwillingness like entering the European market. Uh, Isis is here. There she is. Nobody sees it. No. But the witches here know it. The witches of Switzerland. Here's everywhere the sun hieroglyphics. And actually, when the Templars came here and they founded this country, they called it Suisse from French. Because French, because French was the world language at that moment, and uh, as English is now. And um, so they call it Suisse, and Suisse is an abbreviation for Suisse, and it means Sœur Disis, Sœur Disis, Les Sœur Disis. So the, uh, the Germanic population, the Alemannic population, the, uh, the uh, average Swiss, they call it, so after Suisse, they call it Schwiss. And Schwiss is an abbreviation as well, you know, and it means Schwiss, Schwester Isis, the Schwester de Isis. So this means the Sisters of Isis. So this is what it means, the name of this country. And actually, they call it like in English, Switzerland. They call it like Switzerland, they do. And uh, these Swiss witches, actually, you know, if there's a, is a foreigner here having a, a child with a Swiss witch here, he usually is gonna lose his child. He's never gonna see him again. Because they don't want a man, the male aspect, to have any influence on his son. So they can make, um, another Swiss garden gnome. This is how they make Swiss people, you know. No male influence, no descendant, no, um, no father on son information. The symbol here, it's the acacia tree, and it means uh, the joining, like sticking together. In Washington, you can see it as well, and all over. There it is again, the joining. The weird thing on top here. Again. There it is again, the joining. Secret symbols, you know, to, um, to make them understand. Well, they, this, this belongs to them. Definitely. The joining. And actually, the biggest, biggest sacrificial festivities of the pharaohs, this day is being called Enkutatach, still being celebrated in Ethiopia and by Freemasons. And guess what? Enkutatach is being celebrated on September 11th. They did it. 
But they're ruling the whole planet. I'll show you some more things. So, September 11th, Enkutatach. Look it up in the internet. <laughs>